is Karaoke Court and what inspired you to make it? Um, karaoke Court is a dispute resolution method by which people sing karaoke uh, at each other in order to resolve the disputes that they have. But actually what inspired me to uh, make it uh, is from my undergraduate days when I was studying law and I was particularly studying the anthropology of law and uh, there I learned that um, Eskimos or Inuits uh, used to um, resolve their disputes by getting into a big igloo together and they would sing their grievances at each other in front of the whole community and then the community decides who would win the case. And I thought this would, was such a wonderful idea that I thought I will make a work of art out of this. What do you hope to achieve by using karaoke as a legal method? Um, well, the first thing is that it's a fun activity. And I think what I hope to achieve is that uh, I want to show that actually law can be not always antagonistic, but law can be about restoring relationships. And law can happen within a kind of communal and humorous environment and context as well. Can you give us some highlights? What will happen during the court hearing? Oh, well, um, the court hearing will be like a festive uh, evening celebration with food and there will be the litigants who will appear in costumes and they will parade up to the stage and then they will sing karaoke uh, in front of an audience uh, and a judge and the audience will have colourful cards and they'll vote, you know, after each one who wins. Which of the cases do you find the most interesting? Well, I think one of the interesting cases at the moment is a dispute between a music teacher and her student who's 11 years old. And it's a dispute over how much the student should practice. And the student wants to practice uh, not very much and the teacher wants her to practice every day. And she's going to be singing, the student is going to be singing It's a Hard Not Life. And the teacher's going to sing I, uh, I Could Have Danced All Night. And we will decide. Uh, how, how much the uh, students should practice on the day. This exhibition is a bit of a homecoming for you. How does it feel coming back to Singapore, especially at this point in time, SG50? Well, it's really exciting coming back at this uh, point in time because it just feels like Singapore is uh, at, on the point of a kind of explosion. Uh, the kind of investment in arts, the interest in the arts and in culture. So I think Singapore is like on the verge of, of kind of um, really expanding its curiosity and uh, its knowledge in, in culture and arts. And I think it's really an exciting time to be back. Thank you, Jack. Thank you very much. Wonderful insights. Karaoke Court debuts at the Institute of Contemporary Arts Singapore on the 5th of September at 6.30pm.